Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Josh here and today he's here with a Debenhams video for you. Hope you are keeping all safe and well. My um, hoodie that I'm wearing is just this classic um, Benetton grey one and it's really really cosy to be indoors in and I love it out as well. And my cap of the day, even though it does look like it is a navy uh, Tommy Hilfiger cap. Anyway, I'll get going with the video. First thing, I did order myself a little treat. Um, I absolutely love um, Dior um, aftershaves and um, love their Sauvage one, love their Fahrenheit. They have some really, really nice smells. So I did get um, the Fahrenheit deodorant. I have bought the um, aftershave as well, but I got it from John Lewis and it isn't here yet. Um, so if you just had um, the phone. And the only thing is, when it comes, I'm not uh, saying I'm not angry or anything because it, you know, it doesn't matter. And you know, all the delivery drivers are doing really, really, really amazing jobs. It just come a little bit dented on the tin. It's not a big issue at all. I just thought I'd show you, but I'm over the moon. So in this video, that's the only treat that I did purchase myself. And then, um, Mum ordered this huge um, jar of licorice all sorts. So I will do, if you do all them, I'll let you know the date. It is um, September, go out of date. So if you do want to order them, then um, just be careful to make sure that the person's birthday is before that date. I love a good old liquor shawl, so I do. Then, then um, this, it is the Joseph Joseph. Mum absolutely loves that um, kitchen range. Um, the other day I tried to make um, poached eggs. Oh, it was the worst thing I've ever, ever done. I'm quite good normally, like, eggs. I make soft-boiled eggs to a tea. Like, I always know when... I always Google it online, and they always tell you to do, like... Depends on the egg size. I always go 10 seconds higher just to make sure. And it's... I am I am the king at soft-boiled eggs. Don't say so myself. Anyway, so this. And we do really like poached eggs. And, like, when I do... Excuse me. When I do go out, I do um, get poached eggs a lot. So this is the microwave egg poacher. It is so simple. All you've got to do is crack the egg, put it in the microwave and then serve. And you have the perfect poached egg. Brilliant. So, so easy and so simple. And then um, in this house, um, me and mum especially are eating a lot of avocados at the moment. We really, really love them everything we are pretty much having them with but they are really hard to get so just to cut them properly mum ordered the range oxo good grips it's a three-in-one avocado slicer so it cuts it three different ways for you it decores it you can do it that way and you can do it that way so yeah to be uh mum does like all this sort of stuff because I don't know, when you do, um, you want it all nice looking on the plate, and when you just cut, cut it sometimes with a normal knife, it doesn't give, you know, the plate that nice, good looking feeling. So that. And then also, mum ordered, I need to stop saying that word also all the time. That's what I'm going to try and conquer. Um, mum ordered these, the luxury um, hand washes. So you get two in there, they are glass, they're in glass as well. And how nice they're just going to look on your um, taps. And the really, really good thing about this is um, they are hand cream and a hand wash. And um, recently, I have been um, washing my hands a lot more. Even though I am a clean person, I do wash them. But I literally wash them all the time now. And my hands have generally started to become really, really dry. I think it's the, um, the you know the stuff that kills the dettol and back, all that sort of stuff in the um, hand wash that is killing and making my hands really dry. So the great thing is about this now, I can wash my hands and then afterwards there is the hand uh, the hand cream to make sure your hands are all smooth afterwards as well. That was £10, which I think is a really, really good value for a set like that. Then again, this is another Joseph Joseph um, range. It is the Pop Plus set of three um, large chopping mats and they are really, really large. The good thing is they all clip in with each other. So 
when you do put them away in your cupboard they will take no space up whatsoever and so we've got one for meat one for fish and then one for um veg virgin fruit and bits so that and we will probably color coordinate um them so we'll probably use red for meat um blue for fish and then green for the fruit and veg bits as well so these for 15 pound and i think that is a really 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 good bargain to be honest for these because they're really really good quality and they are um so handy the fact they clip in with each other and now we've got these we can get rid of all our old ones now right so i'll move on to another box now so uh mum ordered these for a present uh they're set of three mini beard oils really really nice set and they're 30 mil each and um one's a coconut one's green tea and the other one's black pepper and ginseng one all sounds very very nice to me and sort of like a tippet is that's what it's called tippet so you can kind of like tip the perfect amount you want sometimes when you put it out of the bottle too much comes out but with this you can get the perfect amount you do need. Quickly grab a drink. Isn't that the cutest little mug, free Dobby? Then mum got this one as a present. It is a 20 in one multi-tool. Um, this is for my brother. He's a really difficult person to buy for. So she got him this as a little stocking filler and going to put it away in a present cupboard. So yeah, that is a really, really handy tool to have. Mum also picked this up as a gift. It is the initial S mug. This is a really, really nice mug. Sometimes the initial mugs, I'm not like being like rude or anything can look a bit tacky when they're too like they're too colorful and they're too much but uh this one i think is just really really nice and i do love a big mug i love a big mug even though dobby is quite a small mug but because it's dobby i let him get away with it but in general i do like a big mug mum has been buying a lot of big mugs recently and i just keep nicking them you can fit more drink in there and i love it so yeah she got one of these Really nice design on the S as well, the flowery print. Then another Prezi. The uh, number one Breathe Magnolia Pear. That is a really nice fragrance. Luxury bar foam. And another glass bottle. It looks going to look really nice on your side in your bathroom. The thing I like about this most is it is a man's um, bar foam. Not saying that women can't use it, but um, it is man's on when you search on Debenhams and stuff. And normally, I don't know if you, but I always find it really hard to find like a bar foam just specifically for men. Obviously, they have Radox and then other brands have their ones out as well. But it's either always women or unisex or whatever. And sometimes um, a man does like more of a musky sort of smell. So, yeah, this one, great, great gift. Then mum picked up this granddaughter 365 day um, diary, sort of diary plan, I'm going to call it. And the good thing about this is mum weren't actually going to order it because... Um, she on there you can't see if it has the year so obviously mum didn't want to pick one up for 2020 but the great thing is these last for absolutely ever um because all it does is say the month and the day of the month so you can literally get this out and you don't even have to put it away actually this lasts every single year and it's really really lovely it just says some really nice quotes um we have taken to talking to complete strangers just so we can tell them all about you and show them all the photographs of you we carry with us so really really lovely little quotes in there and they don't just do granddaughter ones they have i think they have mum ones they have all different varieties on there then this 
um, is a little gift that I picked up. Uh, I don't actually have anyone specific in mind, but I actually call this a surprise gift. And the reason why I call it a surprise gift is sometimes all of a sudden someone's birthday will pop up or someone's leaving work or something will pop up and you're like, oh my goodness, I haven't actually got something to give them. And then I always go in my cupboard and surprise, bang, it's there for you. So you don't have to worry. So yeah, this is a little surprise present that I picked up. It's the Britannica um, Lavender and Chamile, Camile is it? Um, hand soap and scrubber. I need that to scrub how dry my, my knuckles are at the moment. And then mum uh, picked up um, some kickers for um, my nephew. So she got one pair, she's going to get another pair. Um, honestly, kickers is just an absolute classic um, shoe brand. Uh, me and my uh, siblings have always had kickers for school. They're just a really, really quality, in my opinion, a real quality shoe. They last, like, for absolutely ever. And I always think you should treat your feet well. Um, and with these, sometimes when you buy uh, more of a cheaper shoe, you end up spending more because you've got to renew them more throughout the year. But with these, because they're such a solid shoe, they kind of do last a long, long time. <clears throat> So just the classic black leather one, and they are the Velcro ones. Then, if you um, have watched previous videos of mine, you would have seen these quote books. So ASOS and Urban Outfit is both sell these as well. They're kind of really popular at the moment. So one says she believed she could so she did and the other one says it's okay not to be okay um good advice and kind words of positive mental well-being and obviously with isolation i think um mental health is actually on the rise not saying this is going to conquer obviously but you know you could just look through that read a quote and it could just you know cheer you up for the day so that and that one also perfect for gifts for people as well. I've bought loads before, kept loads for myself and I've also given them as gifts. And people I've always given gifts to have always loved them. Then, uh, we ordered this game. We I love playing games at the moment. So we got this for, you know, playing in isolation or um, times when family come and visit, you know, like occasions and everything. It is the Big Buzzer Quiz. Put your knowledge to the test. It's sort of like a family fortunes game. So you have to buzz in when you have the right answer. You get split into two teams, roll the dice, pick a card. Art, celebrities, history, TV and film, food, general knowledge. So it's a good sort of categories that you are going to know. To be fair, I can get really competitive on games like this. So yeah, that just looks a really, really fun game to play with your family and friends. Then, just a couple more items now too. In fact, this um, to go with the mug. So it's an S candle. Um, it smells really, really good, honestly. It's such a lovely um, candle. Just the pot it's in as well. So it's a glass pot. After the candle's gone, you can get rid of all the, you know, the leftover bits and use it as a trinket dish. Or sometimes, you know, when you have spare change, put that in there. And it is one of the nicest smelling candles. It's really, really nice. And finally, another game. So this is the grill game, the games club. Three to four players, 14 plus. So I'm guessing the game's going to be more brutal than like sort of like a more kiddie sort of game. And it's a great party game. So what you've got to do in it, who is the most likely to wear the same underwear? two days in a row to ignore family members' phone call or to fart and blame someone else. Find out what your friends and family really think of each other as they use their paddle to vote for the player they think is most likely to end up in the cringe-worthy scenarios described on the cards. So to be fair, you kind of probably have to play these this game, I'm going to be honest, with someone that don't take it too personally because, um, you know, big family or friend row can erupt if you say someone's a bit dirty and, you know, they're not going to like it. 
But I think it's just kind of meant to be quite a light-hearted game. As long as they don't vote me who wears underwear two days in a row. No. Um, but yeah. Quite looking forward to playing that game, to be honest with you. It's going to be good. I just hope when um, I do play it and stuff, people do vote honestly. Don't just vote because, oh my God, that person don't like it. You know, if that's what you feel, the person's like, vote for them. So yeah. That and yeah, I hope to be fair. I know it sounds really bad, but I really do hope some of the questions are quite brutal. You know, I know it sounds really bad, don't it? But yeah, so that and that was eight pound on there, which I don't think is too bad for a game that's going to bring a lot of fun and entertainment into a house. So yeah, that's everything picked up in this Debenhams video. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up. Head over to my Instagram, Joshua for I Love, and give it a follow. Also, hit that subscribe button as well, and give the video a massive, massive thumbs up. I'll see you really, really soon, guys, in another video. Keep safe and well. Bye.